Hi everyone, this is Mike with Xinhua Live. Now the biggest annual human migration on the planet is underway. The Chunyun or Spring Festival travel rush, where hundreds of millions of Chinese people return home to their families for Chinese New Year, is taking place between February 1st and March 12th of this year. High-speed rail remains the top choice for travelers making the holiday trip home. It's a comfortable and speedy way to travel across the country after a year's worth of hard work. The combined operating length of China's high-speed rail is now around 25,000 kilometers, which contributes to 66.3 percent of the world's total distance of high-speed railway. According to statistics from 2017's Spring Festival travel rush, a total number of 357 million people traveled by train in that period. Of them, 51.4 percent used high-speed rail. This year, that figure is expected to increase. A newly cleaned white bullet train normally gleams like snow, but after traveling at 300 kilometers per hour, the body of the train often becomes splattered with dirt, mud, dead insects, and other filth. Every night when the train return home, right, quote unquote, return home, how do they wash up and maintain their good looks after a long, tiresome day? Today we will take a look at a train washing center in Taiyuan to show you behind the scenes of how China's high-speed trains are kept spotless. We all know that there are different car wash machines, rollovers, tunnels, self-service wash bays. But how are trains washed? Now, train wash installations are almost custom-made for each type of train. The power the vehicle operates with, its length, and the locomotive's front are the three basic factors that define the wash area. Trains are usually washed with a drive-through system. That is, the vehicle moves over a track through a series of wash modules. It's like a car wash tunnel, but much longer. A train is much longer than a bus or a tram. The length of a normal train is about 250 meters, and China's high-speed trains are usually longer than 250 meters. The number of wash modules to be installed on the bay depends on the length of the vehicle. And the train front must be considered too. High-speed trains are characterized by the aerodynamic shape of the engine, the location and design of brush modules to reach all areas on the front will be crucial to achieving a good result. Now, as we can see, a bullet train is waiting to enter the washing bay of the service center. The service center has two main sections: the washing bay and the control room. First, we will take a brief look at the control room, and here we can see a huge control panel. The control panel is two meters long, 1.5 meters tall, and on the panel are computer screens and many control buttons. <laughs> Now we can step inside this washing room, and we can see all of the、uh, mechanical arms and nozzles and blow drying equipment in the vicinity. We can get to know the process of the wash in a short while. Each of the trains are worth hundreds of millions of yuan, and their coat of paint is also very expensive and very sensitive. To avoid damaging the train, the washing formula is specially concocted to meet the needs of these mechanical beauties. Now we have invited Taiyuan Train Service Center Director Mr. Ma Wenggong to join our program. Director Ma will introduce to us how the washing system works.
这样是洗车的时候不会结冰和冻住。这边的主要是隔离室内和室外的空气的，两个热风幕是吗？对，这是起到更好的隔隔离效果和加温效果。Now Director Ma says that there will be two massive blow dryers, one by the entrance to rid the train of dust and sand collected on the surface, and one by the exit to dry the train after it's been hosed down. As Director Ma explains, once the train passes by the red laser detector, the brushes and nozzles will go into action. First, the train will pass through a hot air curtain, and this is to ensure if the train passes through very cold weather, the ice and snow that gather on the surface will melt away. This both protects the train's equipment and facilitates the cleaning procedures. Then we can take a look at the various nozzles. There is a preliminary hose with clear water to give the train its first round of showering. In winter, warm water is used, as cold water may induce cracks. This is especially important to protect the train's outer coat of paint. Just how does the wash-through system work for these vehicles? In phases, just like a car system in a car wash tunnel. Water is applied first, usually recycled water, to remove any solid particles from the body as possible. In the second phase, a detergent product is applied while a set of brushes starts scrubbing the surface. The product is uh, let to work and then the train reaches the brush module. These brushes can be vertical or horizontal and split to wash the front. And in this phase, the vehicle stops, contrary to what happens in the first stages, uh, because it needs to be cleaned thoroughly in the front. During the rest of the wash, the speed of the train on the bay is 3.5 kilometers per hour to 5 kilometers per hour. As Director Ma explains, once the train passes by the red laser detector, the brushes and nozzles will go into action. First, the train will pass through a hot air curtain, and this is to ensure if the train passed through very cold weather, the ice and snow that gathered on the surface will melt away. This both protects the train's equipment and facilitates the cleaning procedures. Now, Director Ma says that when the train enters the washing facility, the power needs to be completely shut down on the train. Without the power to drive, the train needs to be moved into the wash with a traction machine, and moving speed of that machine is between 1.5 kilometers per hour to 3 kilometers per hour. The traction machine is attempting to link with the bottom of the train. Now, Director Ma says that there are strict requirements on the、uh, acidity of the shampoo, and normally we use neutralized shampoo to wash the trains. If the train is extremely dirty, then they will add more alkali to the formula. After applying the shampoo,、uh, the trains are sprayed with a high-pressure hose. Director Ma tells us that the, to wash、uh, eight compartments. Of a 211-meter train, we need to use around 2.1 tons of water. Even though a large amount of water is used, this water will be recycled and reused in accordance with sustainable development. It is very important to also consider the environment when undertaking these kind of washing procedures. Right now, there is a train waiting to be washed.、Uh, let's take a look to see how the whole process works.
When the train enters the washing facility, the power needs to be completely shut down on the train. Without the power to drive, the train needs to be moved into the wash with a traction machine. And moving speed of that machine is between 1.5 kilometers per hour to 3 kilometers per hour. The traction machine has moved to the fourth compartment and is attempting to link with the bottom of the train. If you're joining us just now, this is Xinhua Live. We are showing you how high speed trains are washed from a service center in northwest China's Shanxi province. Now, as you can see, this bullet train is moving slowly through the washing bay. Just how does the wash-through system work for these vehicles? In phases, just like a car system in a car wash tunnel. Water is applied first, usually recycled water, to remove any solid particles from the body as possible. In the second phase, a detergent product is applied while a set of brushes starts scrubbing the surface. The product is uh, let to work and then the train reaches the brush module. These brushes can be vertical or horizontal and split to wash the front. And in this phase, the vehicle stops contrary to what happens in the first stages uh, because it needs to be cleaned thoroughly in the front. During the rest of the wash, the speed of the train on the bay is 3.5 kilometers per hour to 5 kilometers per hour. As you can see, there are many factors involved in the design of the train washing equipment. Big vehicles require big solutions that can really keep our public transport system in perfect condition. Director Ma says that the washing center, there are two washing rooms, one for the multi-section trains that are washed on line one, while the single section trains are washed on line two. The length of the two washing rooms are 98 meters and in the middle are the uh, rail tracks. On each side, there are brushes of different sizes. And right now we're seeing uh, images of line two. The so-called train bathhouse begins washing at around 7 p.m. each evening and continues until 1 a.m. in the morning. Currently, every day, they clean four to six trains. The total number of washes and their corresponding times are listed on the maintenance schedule. The single-section trains wash for around half an hour, while the multi-section trains wash for a longer time. The trains are now entering the washing room. As Director Ma explains, once the train passes by the red laser detector, the brushes and nozzles will go into action. First, the train will pass through a hot air curtain, and this is to ensure if the train passed through very cold weather, the ice and snow that gathered on the surface will melt away. This both protects the train's equipment and facilitates the cleaning procedures. Next, there will be two massive blow dryers, one by the entrance to rid the train of dust and sand collected on the surface, and one by the exit to dry the train after it's been hosed down. Then we can take a look at the various nozzles. There's a preliminary hose with clear water to give the train its first round of showering. In winter, warm water is used, as cold water may induce cracks. This is especially important to protect the train's outer coat of paint. Then there's the shampoo nozzle, or the detergent nozzle, with a special car washing formula. And the uh, calcium removal nozzle is used to rinse off that detergent. After that, dozens of little nozzles will spray mist, and brushes of various sizes will scrub off all the dirt and filth from the train. 
you might be wondering if the scrubbing brushes will damage the train's paint. Well, let me tell you that the brushes are all very soft and water resistant, so the water droplets will slide off from the brush and not form any sort of ice or icicles. The brushes come in various lengths, with long 3.8 meter brushes used to scrub the train's surface and short 1.7 meter brushes to clean the train's underbelly. Of course, the quality of the brushes need to be excellent so as to not damage the train. Then the train is once again rinsed in clear water before being blow dried and passing through the hot air curtain to remove any lingering droplets. We don't want the train to be wet when it leaves the service center. For a 211 meter train to go through the entire process typically requires around 20 minutes. The head of the train is like a bullet and due to its shape, the nose of the train is very difficult to clean. After the automatic wash, the nose requires another round of manual washing, right, by humans. No, not everything can be taken care of by technology. Now the manual washing takes place in the maintenance room. These trains travel night and day. Under normal circumstances, the earliest train returns at 5 p.m. During the spring migration, the number of trains increase and uh, consequently so does the workload of the train washers. Often these workers are washing till dawn. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is how a train takes a shower. To ensure that travelers returning home for the holiday season have a clean and comfortable ride, Taiwan's workers toil till early dawn to keep China's high-speed trains spotless. All the travelers across the country have immense gratitude towards their hard work. This concludes our broadcast for the day. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Hope you have a safe and clean travel journey on your way home, and have a happy new year.